distribution of the sample mean. Lesson objective, compute problems involving the central limit theorem. In planning for hot water requirements, the manager of a hotel finds that guests spend a mean of 11.4 minutes each day in the shower. Assume that the shower times are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 2.8 minutes. A. Find the percentage of guests who shower more than 12 minutes. Again, by drawing a picture, our mean is 11.4. We are interested in more than 12 minutes, so we want area to the right. Our next step is to change 12 to a z-score. So we take 12 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. We get a z-score of 0.23. Using table 5, if we find the area of a z-score being greater than 0.23, we do 1 minus 0.5910, which is 0 0.4090. And since the original problem asked what percentage, we change this to a percent and we get 40.9%. Part B the hotel has installed a system that can provide enough hot water provided that the mean shower time for 84 is less than 12 minutes. If the hotel currently has 84 guests, find the probability that there will not be enough hot water. Does the current system appear to be effective? So the center of this distribution, the mean, is equal to the population mean, which is 11.4. The standard deviation, is equal to sigma divided by square root of n or 2.6 divided by square root of 84. It's gotten smaller. We call this the standard error. Let's draw a picture. We have our mean. We have our x bar that we're interested in. And we want the area to the right. So we find the z-score for x bar equals 12. So we take 12 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation and we see that the z-score is 2.12. Using table 5, we want to find the probability that z is greater than 2.12. So we have to do 1 minus what's in the table, 0.9830, and we get 0 0.0170. Does the system appear to be effective? Yes, the probability that the current system will not have enough hot water for its 84 gas is only 1.7%. Hence, the current system seems to be effective. Thanks for watching.